Jock, you mentioned to me during pregame, doing those little things right, particularly there in the fourth quarter. What did you see as the biggest difference this game? Yeah, I think we, we uh, what you talked about as a, as a group is the fouling component. And so uh, lately we've been pretty good of not fouling. We knew coming into a game, uh, SGA is a guy who shoots double digits in free throws and ends up shooting 14, I think, tonight. Uh, two free throws for them in the first half and... Uh, not in the second half, you know, 20-something free throws, 24 in the second half. And so big difference in the game. So that's, that's discipline, our ability to know personnel and our ability to execute. Was there anything particular with the game plan that you saw that change from the first half versus the second? You know, you know, uh, we go in with a two-point lead. Uh, I just think, uh, you know, the second half, the intensity uh, takes another level. Uh, their guys made some some plays, whether that is uh, plays to get a 50-50 ball or a loose rebound or a tie-up for a jump ball. Uh, and then and then the fouling component is, is huge. Coach, got two quick ones for yes. you. Um, first, with Ben being a late scratch, what, what happened with him? Yeah, he went through warm-ups, uh, felt some tightness, and uh, so that was a report I had, and then he was a late scratch. Is it just, like, precautionary, or you guys are concerned? Is there any concern there with him? Uh, he'll be on the trip with us, so hopefully it's uh, one game. I hope so, Christian. Okay, and, and second, just obviously this is two now in a row with, without Kevin and everybody's talking last season. You, you, know, you automatically think about what happened with him last year. Is, is there any, like, I guess, pressure when you look at last season and everything that unfolded while he was out to not have the same result? No, I hope our group is uh, in the now. And, uh, you know, some of these dudes weren't even here last year. And so uh, we finished Miami game with the win without Kevin. We go into a, a, a Boston game where uh, we did some good things for three quarters. Uh, and then again, tonight, uh, halftime, you know, this is a, a good team that's beat a lot of good teams. And uh, fourth quarter again, where we don't come up with enough s scoring, I guess, to uh, uh, complement the stops. Uh, so I think that's the challenge for us as a group to be able to sustain. Uh, and so that is harder. That is harder mentally and physically because Kevin does save you at times uh, and give you a bucket. And so now your defense is set. And so that's the challenge with this group is they have to dig in and have a mental fortitude greater than before because every possession does matter. And that's what we talked about yesterday. So that 50-50 ball, that loose ball, that foul for free throws, they do matter. First quarter, third quarter, and then obviously it, we, we're seeing it in the fourth quarter. So Jacques, going off, I mean, do you see any parallels with the fourth quarter offensive struggles between this game and, and the Boston game? Oh, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, looking back at the Boston game, uh, we got good shots. And I think if that is the common message, I think we all look tonight and uh, we got some good shots, whether there was open threes, uh, whether it was offensive rebound. Um, I think we got good looks. We just needed them to go. Then Seth, really, since that rally in Miami, seems like he's really stepped up since Kevin's gone down. What have you seen at him during this whole week, really? Yeah, he's doing a little bit of everything. I think uh, having him um, come off the bench to kind of steady that group, to play along with Kai, and just another playmaker, have the ball in his hands. Uh, so he garners a lot of attention because he can make shots. Um, and so I think he's done a great job of having balance of uh, playing with and without the ball. Jack, is Ben going to have to get an MRI before you guys go to Texas? Yeah, from what I told Nick, uh, no scheduled MRI. Uh, that was the latest that I got from the guys.